Jack and I from very earlier on realised there was a need for a centre in this area which would cater to the needs of Asian women living and working in this area. And they approached Matrix because being a women's organisation we wanted to work with women. And also Matrix would understand our needs, would be able to identify with our aspirations, would be able to relate to us better. And um, they are quite, they are very reputable also as, uh, as an organisation of women architects. The plan evolved quite easily. It was quite clear really from going through the um, different activities that um, women wanted and also they brought photographs of buildings um, in Asia, well particularly in Bengal, that um, women liked the, where their family lived or where they had new friends and that sort of thing. We used those a lot to design the building and to get the general atmosphere in the plan and in the courtyard. But then um, the, the way that the building looked, the front elevation became quite problematic. There were lots of discussions there where it's, people say, we want the buildings to be, the, the bricks to be pink. And then what does pink mean? Pink means very different color to different people. Mm -hmm. So we actually went on a brick picnic and went around lots of um, different buildings around London looking at different colored bricks didn't actually manage to choose anything from that. <laughs> but we, yes. but we did realise that we were talking about different colours. Also, I think when we were choosing the colour scheme for the building for the various rooms, I mean, we had so many uh, leaflets and various and colour uh, charts. It was very difficult for us to choose. So what we put, and for example, green had so many shades. So we sort of chose some colours and we asked Matrix to draw a picture with all the shades in it just to show us as to what it would eventually look like or nearer to that. That's one reason why the building's so colourful because the, everybody in the group, the oh, sort yes. of eight of us sitting at this <laughs> meeting with children running around That's trying to right. decide on the colours and lots of people had different ideas about what colours there should be and some people were saying oh, it should all be pink and some people were saying oh, it all no, be green, I right. hate pink. <laughs> So it that's one really reason why there are different colours on each floor because in fact that was a slightly compromised solution but I think it's worked really well mm -hmm. because yes. each floor has a colour theme. Yes. On the um, sort of aesthetic side of the scheme, um, we, as women from um, European culture, mostly didn't understand the symbolism mm -hmm. of um, Asian cultural symbols and um, there were various things that for us said Indian symbolism rather than any particular sort of symbolism so in particular we did a design for the front door um, which actually had elephants in it which for us as European women had said a lot about Indian mm -hmm. symbolism, but for Indian women that actually symbolizes Hinduism and it's very important that this centre is a multicultural centre. Yes. It doesn't just... It know. shouldn't cater to any particular religion or religious group. <coughs> women always make do with spaces. Women have traditionally made do with spaces that don't necessarily suit them. Women are immensely adaptable. They can manage in all sorts of peculiar situations. But why shouldn't they, for a change, have a centre which is made for them? Women haven't been patrons of um, the arts or architecture or buildings generally, and it's about time they were, and actually had a very strong say in how the environment's designed for them. And also, I mean, Jaguar is unique in the sense that it's designed by women for women and it will be run by women only, so that's an added bonus, an advantage also.